Today, I'll be testing and reviewing the split end trimmer. This bad boy was not cheap. I think it was around 145 US dollars. So this right here, this is the Split Ender Pro 2, and this is the fourth inch trim, so quarter of an inch trim. The Split Ender Pro is specifically designed to only trim the very end of the hair strand, which can only enter the blades. It trims from one eighth of an inch of the ends alone by using the one eighth trim and the one fourth inch by using the one fourth trim setting. So the Split Ender Pro 2 comes with only the the quarter inch trim, it's already inside. So it doesn't come out and they say, don't try to take it out cause you can break it. So it does give you instructions of how to prep the hair and how to use it. This looks very intimidating because it's literally cutting the hair. And some people were saying that it cut chunks of hair. So that kind of worries me, but we're gonna try to work with hair underneath just in case something goes wrong. I don't want the top of the hair to get damaged. You know what I mean? So we can hide bottom of the hair. <laughs> All right, let's do this. And I did charge it overnight and the day before. So it is wireless or cordless, whatever you want to call it. So you choose which way the arrow is going. And then in the back you have a lock, which is this little paddle right here. You have to fully unlock it. And this is where the hair is going to go. And then the blades are right inside. And then this is the chamber where your split ends collect right here or just your hair because I don't know how smart this thing is to only grab the split ends, you know what I mean? So I think it's just literally gonna trim your hair. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm just gonna do several sections and I wanna see how much hair it's going to trim off because I can see how much hair comes out into the chamber. So it says you got to start with really small, thin section of hair and then spread the thin hair. You kind of have to make sure it's laying flat and then place it into this part right here, which is the hair plate. Okay, make sure it's nice and flat. And then I'm going to choose the arrow and they say choose the arrow that's pointing down towards not here, towards the floor, that's what they say. So we're gonna choose this arrow. I can't really see, it's kinda hard to see. It's only going to activate once you bring this handle up. All right, I don't know, I can't do this. I think I need your help with this. Okay, here I am, coming to the rescue. Is that flat? Yeah. Well, I don't wanna like, you know, Go ahead. cut my hair. And then it says, gently squeeze the hair plate pressing handle, this right here until it activates. And then it says, slowly comb the hair of the Splitter and Pro all the way to the bottom. Use a slow, even motion, just like you, you would with a flat iron or a hair brush. And repeat three times per section. Okay, are we ready? Ready. Ready? Ready. <gasps> okay. That's just the motor. I know, it's scary. I am, okay. Just go for it. No, I'm scared. Some hairs. It looks thinner, you guys. Whew. My heart is racing right now. So there's definitely hair in the chamber and it looks like it cut pretty evenly, somewhat evenly. And I do see some split ends, yo. I see two split ends right now. I don't know if I want to go three times. I'm not gonna go three times, you guys. All right, let's do some more here. Make sure we move this section out of the way. Make sure it's not too thick. And it does say you have to get grab thin sections. And it can, if it starts to feel like it's pulling your hair, this tool right here, then that means either you have too much hair or you have tangles in your hair. And they do say this works best on straight or wavy hair. So if you have super curly hair, you might wanna straighten it first as much as you can and then go in and do this. So let's make sure the arrow's going down, yep. 
This noise is scary. It's so loud and it sounds intimidating. We're getting a lot more hair in here. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I'm just doing two passes per section because I don't I don't want to do more. <laughs> it's definitely hair in there. To do this yourself, it's kind of hard. It's so bulky. Yeah, I feel like it's making my hair shorter in a lot of places. I'm looking at the hairs in here. Some of them are shorter, some of them are longer. But the hair is also falling. Oh, there's a little piece of hair right here. That's the longest. This is like a good, I would say inch that got cut off. But it's not a lot of them, it's just one so far. Yeah, let's, let's, see. let's see what's in the chamber. Yeah, let's see what's in the chamber, you guys. All right, so I'm pretty much, I don't wanna do any more hair. <laughs> I don't want to cut any more hair and I want to take out the chamber because there seems like quite a bit of hair in here. So I want to take it out. I have this little black envelope that we're going to place the hair on since my hair is blonde. That way we can see something. Let's do it. All right, so the chamber is quite easy. You just basically pick it up like this. Wow, it's quite a bit of hair. How many sections do we do? I think we did like four sections in total, maybe four or five. A lot of hair is stuck inside, so I would either like vacuum it out or, or they, they give instructions of how to clean it, but I would probably vacuum it out first before sanitizing it, whatever, etc. Those blades in there, Yeah, those are, sh those are, sh well, this right here is what makes your hair go through, but the blades are right there on both sides. You can see the blades. All right, we're going to inspect the hair split ends. All right, so I see a split end right here, right away. You can see it right there. I'm just gonna move it out. Nope, is that a split end? Are these, nope, hold up. That's not a split end. Hold on, you guys. All right, so I thought I saw some split ends, but then when I go for it, it just breaks apart and it's two different sections of hair or even three sections of hair. I'm sure there is some split ends in here, but they're not extremely noticeable. It honestly just went in and cut a quarter of an inch of my hair, the ends of the hair. And you can see some sections are a lot longer. For example, this right here. Some of these are a lot longer than a quarter of an inch, but most of them are a lot shorter but this right here is a lot, like this right here is a big long piece. All right, I am going to try on hair extensions. I'm not gonna comb them out and I wanna see if it's gonna get stuck or if it's gonna pull. Andre's gonna be of assistance. I'm gonna grab a thicker section, something like this, quite thick. And then let's choose the arrow right here, which is down, put that in the center. Yeah, see? Pull, you literally have to physically pull it, but it's not getting stuck. Right. I mean, it's pulling the hair out because it's an extension. Yeah. It's just something even thicker. Well, let's do, let's put it on the wrong arrow. 
Ooh, arrow. Let's do will, that. People will do that. All right, we're gonna do that on a wrong arrow, and we're gonna grab this section right here. Nope, it's literally it, is, it doesn't go anywhere. That's too thick. Ah! No, That's it's, scary. It's, just go a little lower. Is anything getting trimmed? Yeah, a little bit. It's still getting trimmed, but it's mostly cutting the hair now. How do, we, how do we make it fail? Yeah, it's not failing, you guys. That's good. It didn't cut massive chunks out, so that's really good. So let's talk about it. Overall, did it work? Did it perform? Did it trim my hair? Yes, it definitely trimmed my hair, but did it target the split ends? No, because it's, it's not that smart. It can't be that smart. You would need some kind of crazy technology to target only the split ends and trim the split ends. So essentially, like I did say, towards in the video when I was doing it, it's essentially trimming all of your hair a quarter of an inch. So please keep that in mind. Don't start at the very top if you don't want your hair trimmed at the top. Only start like halfway or mid, I would say like this much, the end of your hair. That's where I would focus it on. And we did try to make it fail to see what would happen. It would get stuck if it would make weird noises. But the only thing it does, it just moves a lot slower when it's a very thick section. So you have to kind of pull it through. So that's not the best advice. So the best advice, like they did say, is use, use only small, thin sections, and that is gonna take a long time to do. Especially if you're doing three times per section, which I think is unnecessary, honestly. But it does work. And also, it doesn't look like it cuts all the hair. It's still kind of being selective. Yes, kind of. It's not being selective towards Exactly. It's not cutting all of your hair strands because that would be, I think, impossible. There would be, a lot. <laughs> there would be, there would be a lot more hair here on this little black envelope with the hair right there. So that's good that it's being somewhat selective. That's good that it's not cutting all of the hair because the blades, they're not that big. So, I mean, they're not, they're not, they're not spaced too small where it's just going to try to cut as much hair as possible. And that's, that's good. So the one thing I do want to say that is very bothersome and can, I just think it's bothersome is the noise. It's so loud. And it sounds very intimidating, very intimidating. And it is very bulky at the top, especially you have to hold it. So you kind of have to manipulate your hand around to do it yourself. I'm sure it's gonna be easier if somebody else does it for you, but you, if you're doing it yourself, it's gonna take a long time and it's, a little, it's, it's a little inconvenient of the size, but it's wireless or cordless, however you wanna call it. So it does come with the charger. It's right here. And then you just plug her in towards the bottom. It's not a USB charger whatsoever. You just need, you just need a plug to plug this in pretty much. So overall, is this worth $145? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> For the technology wise, it's it's not there. It's far away. I think just getting a little trim, if that's what you're going for, and trims are not $145. And it just takes way too long for the entire head. I only did what, I think four to six sections, I think. And that was roughly 10 minutes, just that alone just to make sure, you know, everything is even, there's no tangles, it's not gonna cut your hair, you know what I mean? Like chop it off, but yeah. I do wanna say it seems safe enough. Like I did say, we kinda try to do really thick sections, really try to pull on it, try to go in the opposite direction, and it still worked. I think it might have a really hard time with curly hair, like they do say in the instructions, it's best for straight to wavy hair. If you have curly hair, just like with a hairbrush, it's very hard to get through, because this is essentially a hairbrush with the blades inside. So if you do want a trim and you have curly hair, I would just go get a professional to trim your hair. I'd rather just go to a professional, get my hair nice and trimmed, get it really fresh looking, you know what I mean? So this is, I feel like it's a little too, too expensive to do on your own. I'm not, I'm not a fan. Let me know if you have tried this tool and if you did your entire head, 
how many times did you do each section and how long did it take you to do this? Like I said, I think I would keep it towards the bottom of my hair. I would not start at the very top because I don't care to trim my hair at the top. I don't care to get layers or more layers. I'm trying to grow up my hair to be as even of a length as possible. So for me personally, if I were to keep using this, which I'm not, I would only focus towards the bottom of my hair where most split ends are. So keeping that in mind, please let me know how did you enjoy this product? Did it work out for you? Did, it have, did you have a good experience? Did you have a negative experience? What kind of hair did you have? Please let us all know your thoughts and experience. But for now, thank you for watching, spending time with me and the Split Ender Pro 2. And I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.